as neighborhood garage workers, Martin and Julian, in spite of being the best of friends, have quite different personalities. Very good. Two passions join them. Their love for family and for racing cars. We all have problems. I didn't expect to lose my job either. Money from dancing lessons hardly covers grocery costs. I'd already forgotten how delicious jelly beans were. The Toledo sisters are like oil and water. To Natalia, managing the family business in order to support her demanding lifestyle has made her forget about herself, even those close to her heart. I want to ask her to marry me. To Veronica, a spoiled and irresponsible girl, what matters is just to do whatever she pleases without measuring the consequences. Because I'm the one who manages the family assets. Because no one's wanted to do it so far. I'm in school, so don't look at me. And we all have conflicts. My sister isn't coming for a visit, Mother. What's she coming for, then? She has no money left. You know what? It's none of your business. What I do with my money is nobody's business. That you're kind of embalming yourself. You're more dead than my dad. But you can control your destiny. Natalia. Are you here for the driver job? Now that I've seen you, I would gladly drive you to the ends of the earth. Veronica Toledo. Are you my driver? Just for today. It would have been easy if they told me they were sending a movie star for me to find him. Run, I'm at school, so don't look at me. I sold you a stolen dress, okay? But I don't bite, don't worry. Listen, Mr. Guerrero, let's agree on something. Uh-huh. Point one, don't address me as lady. Whatever you want. Point two, I don't like jokes. Martin, you're gonna be my niece Natalia's driver. And you know what, Julian? We'll all share you. And things are never what they seem. I'm quite alive. And I need to support this family just as my father would. My former driver also said that he was responsible. That's not gonna happen with me, lady. Don't say lady. Get someone else that'll handle your tantrums, little girl. What? I demand you get in the car right now. What you're doing has a name, and that is stealing. Leave me alone. A story that reflects the permanent fight between the wish to love and the harsh reality. Opposite worlds that clash, changing everyone's lives forever. You're not the right person for my daughter. I can help you to marry Natalia soon. Uh. That's what you want, isn't it? Because I didn't marry a second-rate driver who pursues wealthy women. No way! What did you call me? Much less when there's a secret involved. Look, Natalia must know about this. She must know what, Gregorio? Oh, shit! Oh. Oh. <sighs> get down, get down! A story full of dilemmas and intrigues. The man from the store, are you sure you don't know him? I have no idea what you're talking about, and this conversation is over, Natalia. You ended up working for this family! Do you know, do you know what you are? You're a traitor, Martin! A betrayer! Why are you calling him that? Well, we all have our... secrets. Our project can't fall behind. I want the factory now. And true love will be the only possible way out. There are moments when you have to take that mask off and... let your real feelings emerge. <laughs> you can take the rest of the day off. Well, that was weird. Like... like you asked me not to come back anymore. I wouldn't really know what to do. I've got used to you too. Yo nunca pensé que te encontraría así que en el mundo hubiera alguien que me hiciera tan feliz. Yo nunca pensé Amor